My name's Heath, and welcome back to my shop. Today's episode, let's make a hybrid orb. We have a nice piece of figured burl. I have a mold made out of corrugated plastic with a piece of painter's tape. That's so when I spray the mold release, I'm left with a clean spot. To place a small dab of glue from my glue gun. Why? Well, so I can glue this piece of wood in place. Let's whip up some orb juice. I have some peacock blue alumilite dye added just a pinch. Nice little stirring action with a wooden stick. Adding part A orb juice into part B. This is where the magic begins. Adding small streaks of white alumilite to give it that cloudy effect. Whoops, I just pulled this out of the pressure pot and realized the darn thing sprung a leak. I still believe this blank is orb worthy. I used Crafty Candles Mold Release. This was suggested by one of my viewers, Paul. Thank you, sir. Excellent product. Works great. I picked this up at the local Hobby Lobby. I have it checked up on the lathe now. I'm using a piece of pine as my waste block. And let's not forget the negative rake scraper. And I used epoxy to glue the hybrid blank to the waste block. A small piece of wood you'll notice at the right near the life center. That's glued in place as well, just to provide some additional support. Now I'm just working to knock the corners off and true it up. shaping the top of the egg and also the bottom. Just cleaning things up a bit. The joys of sanding. I like to sand to 400 grit. I really enjoy this part. Cleaning the dust off of the hybrid orb or egg. Let's take a closer look. Next, I like to polish it up with some Triple E friction polish. Polishing it with a nice square crisp piece of paper towel. Stop petting the orb, Heath. Parting the piece off, I'll use my pneumatic orbital sander to clean that up. And I think we have one more thing to do. I'd like to take this moment to thank my subscribers. I appreciate your support. I appreciate the comments and the feedback. Also, I'd like to mention Gareth Wilmot from Ireland. He received his blank. And he also uploaded a video of him opening the package. I'll place a link in the description box below. You have to check that out. Thank you, Gareth. And that wraps things up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time, be safe in your shop and have a great week. Thanks for watching.